Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone has had a lovely summer break, and I can imagine the majority of you are just about getting back to training if you haven't for the last couple of weeks already. So as you can see, I am back in Amman, back in Muscat, back at my home pool, and the plan is to get back underway with videos once a week again. So today we have a tech suit review. I think no better way to kick things off. Here we have a model from Australian brand Engine Swim, the wing skin bullet. Now we have had the woman's variation of this suit reviewed on the channel already. So I think it's about time you get to see what the jam is all about. Cost of this suit is 330 Australian dollars, which it converts to roughly about 180 British pounds. As you can see here, I have the black and gold version in contrary to the woman's version which was the black and silver the main difference being these seams here now if you do look at the waistband of this suit and even if i was to turn it inside out and you can see the internal lining which has this sort of light blue aesthetic then you're probably thinking that you recognize this before maybe you're getting a sense of deja vu the likely scenario is this is very much the same waistband that you've probably seen on finny suits as well as the same internal lining it has come to my attention that there is a big factory that is producing suits for a lot of different brands. It produces suits for Finis, QSW, A3 Performance, and Engine Swimwear. That being said, the individual brands are still designing the suits themselves, just the construction is being done out of house. Beyond that, these suits are still very much in the DNA of the brands that are creating them. The engine comes with a makeup of 53% polymide and 47% elastane for quite a thick material. It also rather interestingly has dual layers for the majority of the suit. Not just the light blue, but everywhere other than these strips here is actually dual layered, meaning that this suit is gonna trap a lot of air and be rather buoyant. While the material itself has a lot of give and a lot of flexibility, they've placed these three seams here, targeted compression, and running down the side of your thigh, you get a lot of compression, you really do feel locked in from these seams. Initially, water repellency seems pretty darn good, but after wearing these for a couple of races, you do find the suit does seem to hold water in it for quite a long period of time. It shares that in common with the QSW and the Finney's Rival 2.0. So that's a little bit of background on the suit. I'm gonna put it on and talk to you a little bit more about the performance. Now, even though the material in the suit is really quite given and flexible, there is some difficulty putting on the suit just because of how much internal lining it has. When you're trying to grip the, the suit to sort of pull it up, what you can end up doing quite easily is putting the outside layer, but then the, the internal layer gets left behind and you have to sort of like grab that as well. So there is definitely a, a bit of a knack and a learning curve to putting this suit on, which is quite unlike any other jammers. The size I wear is a size 24 in these, and I think that's the only model suit I currently wear a 24. Normally I'm 25, 26, or even in some cases 28. So you definitely have to size down in this suit. Now, as you can see by me wearing this, it's a traditional cut, it's not high waist or anything else, but it definitely has very high amounts of coverage. Coming a little bit further down on my legs and a little higher on my hips than the majority of suits that aren't high waisted, but still without being uncomfortable in any way. It doesn't dig in anywhere on my hips and it, and it still doesn't obstruct my knees. On top of that, I think these suits look really, really cool. And I think I have to be wearing it to see it, but the, the gold accents from these seams really does pop, as does the angled engine logo there. As for the performance, you definitely have to talk about the buoyancy being one of the standout features. And the, the sheer quantity of dual layering really does seem to make a difference. And you do feel like your hips are being pushed up a little bit. On top of that, I like the suit because it has a lot of mobility. The suit is really, really flexible and I've raised breaststroke really comfortably in this as well. But what I think it does better than any other suit I've yet to try is combine a bit of compression in the right places. I hear a lot of companies talk about how they've managed to have targeted compression while still having mobility, but I generally find suits that are extremely compressive, such as your Tier Venzo and your Mizuno GX Sonics, or really quite mobile. Think QSW Vision and Finis Rival 2.0. While the inner thigh has a lot of movement on this suit, the compression that you're getting on the front of your quad and just round here on the hamstring really is quite impressive. And I do just walking around in the suit without even swimming, feel myself being locked in. I can feel I can feel it a bit holding my quads in and in the areas where you fatigue the most, here and here. And that really does hold up in a race as well. On top of that, the suit is really, really well built. The waistband is very high quality, as is the leg grippers. 
and the seams have this almost painted on effect that really does feel like it's not going to split anytime soon. Personally, going forwards, there is a few things I'd like to see from engine. First of all, I would like them to do a full high waist version because I'm someone who much prefers that cut and really feel like I get some core support by having that higher waistband. On top of that, while I do like the use of these gold seams here, they don't have anything internal and I would like to see a couple of horizontal tapes on the back of the hamstrings purely inside the suit for that up kick support without it affecting the mobility. So with all that in mind, I think they've got quite a decent suit here. I, I, th I think it's combination of a little bit of compression with a little bit of flexibility makes it a good all rounder. While it's not gonna be the, the ultimate suit for someone who really just wants mobility and movement, and in the same breath, it's not gonna be for those sprinters who want snap and power and extreme compression. It does offer a little bit of the best of both worlds, making it a little bit of a jack of all trades, but master of none. There really isn't anything I would say that this suit isn't good for, but at the same time, I don't know what I'd say it's a must have for. At its price, it isn't by any means at the height of the market, but it still isn't a budget option either. And you can get a lot of awesome suits for its price of 180 pounds. I do think one of their biggest problems will be how easy it is to export their suits from Australia. And that might add an extreme cost, making this much worse value than it would be if you was a native Australian. That being said, if you do live in Australia, I, I do urge you to check out Engine and what they're up to. But if you are overseas, love the aesthetic, want a jack of all trades suits, and also aren't a fan of a high cut fit, well, maybe this is a suit you might want to look at as well. And hopefully, the, the import costs aren't too steep. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned and subscribe for a lot more coming soon. Please do tell your teammates about the channel, and I'll see you next time.